Portland's police chief said today his department realizes that substance use disorder is a complicated lifelong illness, and they want to be a bridge from addiction to recovery. In mid-August of 2018, emergency crews dealt with over 100 overdoses in a couple of days on or near the New Haven Green, certainly an impetus to affect change in the Elm City. We know that purely arresting people is no way to curb the epidemic, and we also know that a large proportion of our fatal overdoses in Connecticut include those that have come in contact with the criminal justice system. Last month, 43 New Haven police officers underwent specialized training in addiction, harm reduction, stigma, suicide prevention, and the use of naloxone, which can reverse the effects of an overdose. Today, I am proud to be here uh, to commend the New Haven Police Department, who becomes really the first police department in our state uh, to provide individuals with harm reduction kits. Which are given to those with known substance abuse issues as they're released from the New Haven Police Detention Center. There's um, queen needles, there's sterile water, there's some burners, there's some cotton, there's, there's uh, Brillo for filters, there's a tourniquet. And information about community resources available for when those struggling with addiction are ready to seek help. Generally speaking, officers in the public don't understand addiction and how it isn't a choice. It will be spread throughout every member of the department because I think it's important that every officer that's out on the street doing the, uh, the first responding to these incidents have are equipped with these tools. The 43 officers that were trained in January work at the New Haven Detention Center and would be most likely to have contact with incarcerated individuals who could benefit from harm reduction kits. In New Haven, Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.